And we're live. Uh, no, we're not. Yeah, we're live. Yes, it is uh, 200 plus footy and life from a higher place. Nick Butler and the human rhinoceros. Uh, the big wild thing. You make my heart thing. Drapes, how are you, mate? <laughs> I'm good. How are you? I'm good. I'm good. Now, we're uh, we're a two-man. Mm. We're a duo today. Yep. Uh, old uh, Gostridge, is, he's got a new job. He started a new job selling mm-hmm. Rolexes or something, so he won't be joining us. Mm-hmm. But right off the top, he's sent us some audio. Let's have a listen. Yeah, look, g'day, guys. Sorry I can't be there today. Obviously, the business is flat out. I'm in the suit. His business is happening for me. So I know you guys will miss me. Um, I know I carry the show. That's not true. I know Drapes carries the show. But going to miss you. Uh, hopefully, there next week. A lot of business for me to take care of. I wish I could be there. I wish I could go into more detail, but I can't because it's top business level. You guys probably wouldn't understand anyway the type of level of detail I'd go into. So lots of business. Me busy. You in the studio. See you next week. <laughs> Flog. He's becoming a flog. Yeah. In anyway, his suit. Look at him in his suit. What, what's his new job? Selling watches. Selling watches. Yeah. Actually. He's a watch guy. Oh, my God. <laughs> anyway. Okay. We don't need him. Um, big show. Hey, we're going a bit FM radio here. I've got a rundown. So, okay. footy finals are coming. I can smell it. We'll talk a little bit of footy. Yep. Handsome Darcy doesn't like too much footy. His eyes start to roll and he says, get Fair back enough. to the dick jokes. But bit of footy. Ed Langdon saga. Mm-hmm. I want your opinion on that. Okay, it was that was good? Did that mm. get some air play? The old uh, all duck no dinner. Mm-hmm. Uh, Budgie smuggler, really good sackings. Mm-hmm. Love that. We want to talk about times you've been sacked. Every you should have been sacked from something in your life. So that's going to be good. Uh, old balls, young balls, spirit animal, and more. We've got a special guest, a spirit animal guest. Ooh. Some old boiler still rucking. So uh, really, really big show. Perfect. Uh, we missed you in the snow though. We yeah. really did. How'd did you, you miss us? Yeah, it looked like it was good fun. I uh, did. It was uh, a bit weird not uh, coming in on my day off, but uh, it looked like you guys had a bit of fun. How did that feel for you? Because it's 15 weeks together. It's become part of your routine and yeah. you're playing career best footy with us. No, it was, yeah, it was a little bit different. It was not too bad, though. It was a bit of a shorter week in turnaround games, so it wasn't too bad to have the week off for that one. Did you but catch fresh. any highlights of the show? I did. I uh, saw a bit of stuff on the Instagram and it uh, looked like it was a bit hot in the in – the, uh, where the studio, where was that? Someone was a bit sweaty in the was that uh, me? armpits. <laughs> oh, I got a few DMs about that. I had a blue shirt on. Did I have a bit of armpit sweat? A bit, mate. You were. Oh. It was wet. Wow. A big circle. Yeah. <laughs> and you're raising the arm up in the air. Oh, no. <laughs> How did I not pick this up? I thought they were laughing about someone else. No. I've gone with the baby blue shirt. Yeah. You thought it was going to be a bit colder, but obviously... No, I didn't. I mean, we're in front of an open fire. Oh. I felt like a devil in there. I was scorching. <laughs> oh, no. that's I'm a confidence potter, and this is not good. Mm. Right. Surely you should know that. You're on TV I, a bit. I, you should... I went for a nervy pee about five minutes before the live show because we mm. had 100 crammed in there. Yeah. And I'm thinking, wow, this is, Uh-oh. you know, we're talking boys, girls, <laughs> old, young. It was a it was a crowd. <laughs> and I'm like, oh, gee, we've uh, cracked a little bit of sweat through this shirt. No one will notice. <laughs> They did, oh. unfortunately. Oh, has yeah. there been widespread feedback, Gadas? Yeah, there was. Um, you had the the beef patties on oh, the armpits. Oh, no, and the, the faithful two hundred pluses went off. Yeah, oh, but good I, show otherwise, mate. Yeah. It was a good show. That's kind of rocked my confidence a bit, uh, Drapes. So you might have to steer things from here. Uh, but it was, um, yeah. despite my armpit sweat, the crowd seemed to have a really good time. Okay, um, so that was the highlight. I think we've been invited back. Oh wow! Um, you know, we kept it. It was a family show, mm-hmm. and we mixed between um, us and Liz Cloggers. I'm actually a bit rattled after the, hearing this news. Um, but, yeah, so it went really well. They want to have us back. We'll get you up next time. Okay. Uh, there was a low light, oh. uh, two low lights. I accidentally brushed one of our fans. Mm. I was explaining this before. I've got a bit of a garlic issue, so <laughs> I'm allergic to garlic. If I have garlic, I, I'm i gassy as hell for, like, 48 hours yeah. and feel quite sick. And one of our loyal listeners who came up to watch the show said, G'day on show Eve. And I kind of brushed him because I was just had, I felt like I'd been kicked in the guts by a horse, a garlic <laughs> horse. And um, I gave him nothing. So I felt pretty bad about okay. that. But then I apologized and I said, Mate, I'm so sorry. I remember you said something to me yesterday. Um, I was I was riding out a, a garlic <laughs> agony and uh, I'm feeling much better today. And he, his partner said, We thought you were a real douche. Okay. And they thought 200 plus had gone to my head. So yeah. that was a low light. 
Has it gone to your head? No, it hasn't. No. But I love the show. I'm a bit. I'm wearing a white shirt today. If you want to check my pits, so we've cracked one at all. No, we're good. That's we're good. good. I yeah. thought I should have worn on the show. <laughs> Jesus, your weekend. Yes. You played the Giants. It was a yes. physical game. I covered this one for Network Ten. Mm. You were in a few scuffles. You tried a rhinoceros. You yeah. fell over once. Yeah, that's cool. It was, Got kneed in the knackers. Yes. No, Talk it was. About that. It was. Uh, yeah, they came out firing a bit, but it was a bit. We, Did they? Watch? Yeah, um, came out firing. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, nah, we just honestly played so bad in that, especially in that second half. So it was wasn't a good time at all. But no. yeah, the uh, the knackers copped one. Yes, I, uh, we'll put it up on the socials. I don't know what I was doing. I must have been voicing my halftime report because I managed to miss you getting hit in the knackers. But yeah, got you. It was what's the so, backup ruckman? What was his name? Briggs. Briggs. So yeah, in the ruck, you wear your shin pad as a protection and. Put the shin up, but the shin slid straight past, and his knee's gone straight into my right testicle. Ooh. And uh, yeah, it's uh, it's a bit swollen, a bit sore. So, so yeah, we shouldn't be joking then. No, nah, it's all right. I got the doctor to have a check around. And everything, feel still and works. everything still works. Everything still works. And uh, yeah, a bit sore. Do Did I- you get that? Like where they feel hot. They yeah, feel hot, like felt, burning. Felt hot That's instantly. I, I actually, you play long enough, you're going to get one in the Jets crackers. <laughs> I had to put my hand down my pants because <laughs> I like thought it was like split open. Like it felt like that, but like luckily, no, no bleeding. It's just sore. So I'm sat here with a bit of a wide stance to to let, let yeah, them breathe. Like, when you walked in, you look like you just got off a horse. <laughs> it's sort of old town road sort of <laughs> stuff. <laughs> so yeah, like do I do I wear a box next week? What do no, you reckon? Well, like? Richie Douglas had to wear a box for a while. A yeah. great man, former Crows player. He. Um, Got a bad one in the, yeah. in the pill bag, and uh, had to worry a box. Yeah, he used to you, laugh about it a bit, but it's mm. not not a um, injury to joke about. Exactly, no people. Yeah, you can have surgery. Did and you stuff. say um, to the trainer, take away the pain, leave the swelling? <laughs> no, <laughs> that's, <laughs> that's the old gag. <laughs> to leave that the one. increase in size, but take away the oh. pain. <laughs> It's real sort of old sportsman's night <laughs> gear. No, no. Uh, okay, it was well, that's a, yeah, good. my right nut swollen. So yeah. Well, well done for being here. Yeah. And it was a really interesting game of footy. They got fired up by their coach. It worked. Mm. Everyone said, you know what I mean? People said, oh, well, you can't be that honest and he's lost the plot and um, the comments about checking out, well, they were checked back in, weren't they? Yeah, it was on from the start. But Did you know it in the first minute? Oh, hang on. Well, right we, sort of, we sort of knew they were going to come out firing a bit. But, um, yeah, that, that happens. But, no, we've uh, put Adelaide this week, so it's going to be a good – Good test. They're in some good form too. So, yeah, excited. Good. We'll talk a bit of footy. We've got lots of few footy issues today, a bit of world sport. The okay. other one, can you ask me why I'm a bit up and about today? Ask me why. Why are you up and about today, Buzz? Because I've signed my first merch deal. Oh. Yeah, merch. So I've got merch. Okay. So I've got a, um, firstly, thank you to the Don guys. You're in a yeah. Don hoodie. I've I'm got a... the Don black t shirt. You yeah. didn't want me in it. You like me corporate. Yeah. But I'm going to put it on after this. So we've got. <laughs> T-shirts coming okay. of uh, a bit of butts. Wow. Yeah, which is very exciting. But the 200-plus budgie smugglers are the big one. Mm-hmm. We're really excited. We've yep. got customs, mm. okay, with our heads on them. Yes. Which is close to a dream come true for me. Yeah. I mean, I go back to my 14-year-old self. If it's talking footy and a few dick jokes mm-hmm. and I have my own bathe- bathers line you with my head on it, yep. that's about as good as it gets. The one problem is... I look horrendous in the photo. I mean, we can get this up on the socials too, but I look like a dehydrated prune. <laughs> I, and, I've, and I've requested they get redone, but they've already gone to print. Yeah, it's too late. You, what, do you agree or am I being a little bit I I think um, you've, vain you, or you, sensitive? You have been done a bit dirty. You do look shocking. Your testicle <laughs> with eyes. Uh, yeah. Why? I don't know, but I feel like that might make people want to buy them Maybe. more. Maybe. If they know. It's <laughs> shocking. <laughs> anyway, but they're going to be out soon. So 200 yeah. plus fam. Very exciting. Growing fam. Um, wait for those yeah. and get them just in time for, um, you know, rig season. Mm-hmm. Getting the uh, getting the buns out. Yep. No, I'm, so I'm very excited. I'm always so, in my budgies, so it should be good. I must say. So that was pleasure and pain in, in an mm-hmm. hour. Like I get an email, the budgies are almost ready to go. They got your head on them. And then I look at it and I... I look like a, a sultana, mm. a sultana with eyes. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> life's rich tapestry. Um, yeah. World <clears throat> sport, this golf story, mm. the live golf, yes. Saudi Arabian cash. Have you been following it, keeping up with it? Well, I've seen a little it's bit of it. Pretty amazing. Yeah, I've just seen the insane amount of money that's getting so thrown Tiger, around. Tiger, 800 and 900 mil, and he's knocked it back. He's Not knocked, that he needs he's much. He's knocked it back. He's knocked it back. He's old school. Jeez. Just to play in the old tournaments, keep the rankings. But- we think Cam Smith's gone. 
Yeah, right. Little Hutchies, mate. Yeah. Um, so it's big, 100 mil. 100 mil, is that what Smith's yeah. getting? Yeah, and then wow. I was looking at the structure. Like, even if you totally bomb out in, in a tournament, you still grab 150 grand. Yeah. And if you don't play, you get 120. If you're the sub. Oh, my God. So I guess putting it in at footy sense. Um, this happened in cricket 40 odd years ago with the World Series cricket, yeah. which rocked the place. Like, we went from test cricket and guys pretty much earn nothing to mm. Kerry Packer comes in, lights, cameras, yellow uniforms, mm-hmm. huge coin, and it ripped the joint in half. Yeah. Could you imagine if something happened in footy and a billionaire said, I'm making a Super League? Yeah. And I'm telling you, if there was a Super League at the moment, you're in it. <laughs> you are marketable. You're on billboards. You're on budgie smugglers. Yeah. I might be in it too as the sort of fun journo Potentially, guy. yeah. I'll, I'll tell you, I'm go. Yeah. I'll take the cash. <laughs> but could you could you imagine oh, it? Yeah. Leaving the bombers for some franchise? No, it's, no. It's, it's yeah hard to imagine doing that, but you do see it happening because the money they're throwing is just like insane. Like, so... Yeah, it, it happens. Yeah, in soccer, they're trying to do it at the moment with the Super League and stuff like that. But it's, it's scrapped. is that going to be Saudi based as well? Uh, Where's the Super League coming from? I'm not sure where it's coming from. Yeah, right. Um, but it's like the big four clubs in all the leagues oh, want to separate and do their own thing. But it's yeah. been scrapped for now. But it'll probably get put in the future. That will rip the heart but, out of the EPL. Yeah. Because your old happened, man will be dark. Yeah, it happened with the Premier League like in the 90s because they just went from that to the Premier League and people didn't like that. And yeah. I don't know. But we got used to the Premier League. Exactly. I think we'll get used to this golf as well. Yeah. It doesn't sound like it's going all year. To be honest, I'm playing a bit of catch-up footy on the story. I, mm. I saw it was bubbling round, And then it's got real. Mm. Like players are actually playing. Mickelson started it and signed and it's it's going to be a thing. But for that sort of kanga, it's not going away. But Makes I was just think, trying to imagine yeah. how big a story <clears throat> it would be, right? You imagine me walking around at Scans on a Monday and you get this email Thirty percent of the league have signed for some super league, and you get a ten mil a year base. <laughs> Could you imagine? <laughs> I'd be door stopping you. Jesus. Well, you said it has to be amazing. Yeah. Five mil a year, yeah, to, to sign on and play ten games of footy on Mars or mm. something like that. Makes you think, doesn't it? Yeah, I have noticed that, and I quite like this because I've always thought that um, footy got a little bit too protected and a bit ramped up. And since COVID, it's gone back a bit. The boys are doing their own like sporto nights a little bit, mm. um, live shows at pubs, a bit of merch and good on them. Yeah. yeah they're obviously earning a dollar for it. You can. The club it just means that there used to be a lot of that stuff would go on. Yeah. If you trusted some media or you trusted a host and you wanted to earn a few extra dollars, a, you know, for help, I don't know, fix your house or something or whatever. Yeah, you only get <laughs> yeah. to play for 12 years. People shouldn't bemoan you earning a dollar, but yeah. it went out of the game, but it's back. It's yeah. what Bruzzy Maynard and Dagoe did it. Yeah, good. Um, the Demons boys did it. Yeah, so it's we'll good. do a Bombers one. Yeah, yeah. let's do what you host. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> let's do yeah. it. So anyway, I like that. <laughs> Should we roll into some other footy? Okay, yeah. yeah. While well, we're here, yeah, let's do it. Are we, are we handsome? Are we Are talking too much footy? Yeah, let's just get it over and done with. <laughs> <laughs> All right, couple of good footy issues. I like the Ed Langdon story. Mm. Okay, can I t- have my take on it? So yep. he jumps on the radio, uh, does his normal interview. That he's he's a likable guy. I could see why he's kind of attractive to radio stations because he's gives you a little bit that's different. Mm-hmm. And he, he got the question, got given the question about Collingwood and said mm. they're one trick ponies and all duck, no dinner. Yes. And the media, being the media, loved that. Oh, we yeah. love a cliche. <laughs> we love something that in 10 seconds just tells a story. Mm. Um, but it wasn't just us, every fan got around it as well. So um, th- in the wake of it, he copped a bit of heat from the pies. Oh, yeah. The D's go and lose. Where are we at? Okay, my take on it was it was a bit of a dumb thing to say. Really? Okay, and I want, I'm not saying be robots. I, I, I do a bit of media training for the AFL. I'm, I'm doing a little bit with the AFLW. Be yourself. But if you wouldn't say that um, at a pub and you wouldn't want that getting back to Braden Maynard or Jordan DeGoe or anyone, that's out of the bloody radio. I just think it was a silly thing to say because it was always going to fire up the opposition. Mm. Agree or am I being too hard? Uh no, I liked it. I think it's it's funny. Like, it's good that he said that. It made the game more interesting. Did it? What? Definitely. Like, Maynard smashed him. But mm. if you say anything like that, you got to expect maybe a little bit more attention when you do that. But I think it added to the game. Like, I think it was great. Yeah, okay. Like, but what does Truck think? Um, I don't know. Yeah. 
Isn't you, it? If, I don't if you think, say it, I don't think you would do it. Yeah, well, if you say and it, you're, you're a just great gonna be... media. You, you give more of yourself than 90% of players and you do it on this and, and whenever you jump on um, the radio, you're fantastic. I just think, um, Ed, continue being Ed. The last thing we want is, oh, we'll just follow our structures and yeah, hope exactly. it goes well in the night. But <clears throat> he just gave away a little bit too much about the opposition. Mm. I think – Give heaps for you, of yourself. Yeah. Okay. Talk about your team. Even though you're not going to give away your absolute tactics. Yeah. But I just thought it was a bit silly. That's just the footballer in me. Mm. The guy that played in the suburbs till he was um, early 30s. Even if it's C grade amateurs, you don't want something getting back to your opposition on the weekend that's going to fire them up. Mm. So that was a silly thing. But don't, let's not go back to um, you guys can't give anything in an interview because that yeah. is boring for everyone. And no, I think you're right. The fans I it was did funny. love it. Yeah, it made the game better. Like if you if you say it, you got to expect maybe a bit more attention. But like if you if you say it and then you I don't know say if Clay Oliver said it and then he had like forty and dominated, then like people then it's all right. Yeah, because he's a tough little bastard. So yeah. Do you blame the media for it, or does Ed have to say, uh, "Well, I said it." Nah, it's no, fine. Whatever. It just it, happened. It, yeah, but yeah, like the Collingwood boys, they said that it was in on the whiteboard before they went out. Oh, so. Bad. Yeah, which we'll, goes to show people listen, yeah. fans love it, and you know, when coaches often say, "Oh, we don't really worry about the outside." Mm. Um, you know, we just focus on what we can control. There's a bit of bullshit in that. Yeah, there's a little bit that creeps in, and that's footy. That's yeah. awesome. Yeah, no, it fired Maynard up. That's for sure. <laughs> yeah, that's it. A bit of a story about uh, my lover boy at the Bombers. Hep. Yeah. Is Hep going? <laughs> Is Hep going. Well, this <laughs> Mitch Cleary thinks he might be. Well, this is a good situation for Hep to be in. He, the Gold Coast really want him. Yeah, did say, I did say that. Two-year yeah. deal, potentially, and then a coaching role. Mm. It's He'd have to have a think about it. I'm not trying to make a headline out of you, yeah. by the way, but I, because he's my man at the Bombers. He, is, he knows yeah. me. He does know you. So he I did, feel a bit like he connected did, he to him. He did it. say that he recognised you. Yes. And, um, but no, honestly, yeah, no idea. I did say that, but no, as far as we're aware, he's the captain of our club at the moment, so I'm assuming that's going to stay how it is, but... Yeah, it's good for him that he's getting offers elsewhere, but yeah. That's give me the Ed Langdon answer now, please. Das? Sorry, Drapes, do you see that in the run sheet or is Butts just um has he I'm just dropped rough. that on you? Butts has just gone Mitch Cleary on me. No, he's yeah, he's trying to get a headline. Hey, I'm not trying to get a headline. <laughs> You've done it, mate. No, this, mate. this tends to happen when Goz isn't here. He just, oh, he's gone rogue. Hey. Turns into an interview. Dad do I and he's misbehaving. Hep is my mate. And I want him around. He waves at me and stuff. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, well, you gave us nothing on that one. You'd be more like Ed Langdon. Yeah. Um, right. <laughs> We're getting towards it. I was walking around the Oval the other day with my little fella and I could smell finals. I just said, you know that whiff? Do you really? get the, the whiff? Yeah. It gets a bit warmer. The sun comes out, yeah. Jeez, it's beautiful. Yeah, and I'm thinking we're not too far away. Yeah, I haven't really smelt it this year, but no, no well, you, you I'll have smell in a footy trip. <laughs> you can smell footy trip. <laughs> if you had to call it now, who wins? Oh, what? Wow. Okay. Just yeah, um, I'm saying we're not holding you to it, but I'm the going, grand final was this week. Uh, I'm going Geelong. Yeah. Right. Yeah. I the bookies agree with you. Too. Yeah. Right. They, well, they're favourites. I haven't looked. Yeah, and but they've won twelve in a row or something. Eleven in a row. Yeah. No, I just think they're. Man, they're just too organised, too good. Don't get rattled by anything. Um, yeah, I just feel like they're going to go. The organisation's amazing. I sort of always bag that bit of footy a little bit. You know, it's mm. such crap. You know, it's it's so boring. But then I watched them play against Carlton, and it it convinced me how mm. important it is. Yeah. Like that structure yep. of defence. Like they had um, Kerno and Mackay covered, and then they just had this grid. The Carlton couldn't get through. Yep. And it didn't look like much effort. They mm. were just like in tune. Yep. So I know it's nerdy footy stuff, but because I, I love it the works. Cats. I mean, I'm a uh, yeah, VFL uh, number 52 mm. legend down there. So I do watch them closely, and I've never seen that in their game. I reckon they always relied on Dangerfield and yeah. Selwood and Brilliance. So there is a there is a place for that nerdy structure, mm. like like Collingwood at the moment. Like they're on sp- the they're on, them? they're on spirit. Like they're just spirit up animals. Yeah, like they're f- like flying in that area. But I just think Geelong are just too yeah unflappable. Awesome. Yeah. When you played Collingwood, because you you know game of the year, whatever it was, two or three weeks ago, could you feel that like? intangible spirit. I noticed um, that they pick each other up off the ground. When someone kicks a goal, they run like 100 metres to ruffle the guy's hair. Yeah, right. All little nah. things. No, I thought we should have should have won that <laughs> yeah, game. Well, but... that means your spirit's all right too. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I, I was on the bench when they kicked a few goals late and I was like thinking, oh, fuck, like they're, they're coming here. But yeah, no, I think, yeah, Geelong for me, they're, they're the ones. 
So yeah, good one. What are they paying odds? Nah, what is it? do we have a bookie sponsor? Two eighty five. Two eighty five. We might have to get one on. Wow, but I anyway, can't bet, yeah. But yeah. <laughs> no, you certainly can't. Yeah. But um, oh, I think they're rightfully favourites. I'm, yeah. I'm a bit nervy though. Okay. Still a way to go. Yeah. You know, I wouldn't be putting a line through Melbourne. I was down at their training on the weekend. They <laughs> they look, look <laughs> no, they look confident still. Yeah. You know what I mean? You you can normally tell. I've been even down at um, Bombers training a few years ago when you guys were going real bad. <laughs> And it's flat. It's flat. You know the boys are like, we're no chance here. They still marching around. They're peacocking around. Clayton Oliver, Gorney, Petrarca, that they can still win it. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's okay. and it's not I'm not knocking you guys, but when you oh, I was a bit of a dig. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I'm not knocking. Well, any team. I don't care yeah. if it's uh, you know, Vermont seconds. If you're not going to win the flag and you're out of finals, yeah. you've got to manufacture it a bit. Yeah. Uh, they still look pretty confident to me. Okay. But they're going to have to get their act together. The other one, final footy because Darcy wants a bit more dick talk. Mm-hmm. Ben Cunnington. Mm. What an awesome story that yes. is. Like every now and then you just stop and yeah. think, they reckon he could only walk a lap and do 20 handballs and then have to go home to sleep Yeah. this year. Yeah. And now he's playing. Real, like, what do you know about him? Have you come across him? Uh, no, I haven't actually, but I've only heard good things about him. Um, but yeah, that's pretty amazing that he's got to where he is now. And yeah, obviously, the boys absolutely love him there. So yeah, yeah, what a man. I loved him. He was the if Dusty is the doorstop white whale now, yeah. and you've got to ping him at the boom gate, Ben Cunnington did not speak for 15 years. So good. And the ruse backed him, said, nah, he doesn't have to do it. And you try to doorstop him, and he'd just look at you like he's going to punch you in the face. So good. I love it. But do then, you love it though? You're well, flat. no, because I love him. Yeah, and I'm like, fair enough. I even offered to try to media train him a bit, and like just build his confidence. Yeah, a bit because once he realizes, and he's starting to do a bit now, he can just be himself. Yeah, you can um and ah and stuff up a few words. Yeah, no one cares. Um, he just he used to stress him out, and he was a good enough player that North said, "Don't worry about it." But the funniest thing was, he signed a deal to get the free hair plugs, and mm. yeah, yeah. And part of that was to do a press conference. Oh. So the first time he faced the media was a yeah, yeah. <laughs> and he did really well. Okay. But, I mean, he, he got the free free plugs. Yeah. They're 150 grand. Really? Yeah, for the full Yogi Bear yeah, right. plugs. Wow. Yeah, so that was Cunners. But he did. He spoke so beautifully uh, the other day on the website about playing and what it means to him. So yeah. no, good, good on, on him. him. Yeah. That's probably my feel-good story of the year, I think, when he okay. runs out. Yeah. You're going to need hair plugs? Well, I hope not. I don't think so. Oh, I don't know. Nice mate. <laughs> Right, <laughs> feedback, uh, Drapesy. We haven't got guys here. This is normally his domain. Yep. What have we got? I'm tipping there's plenty, and you've already spoken about my armpits. Yep, your armpits were in there a lot. We've uh, got sent a voice message in. So a voicey. Yeah, if Dars can get that on now. Hit the button. Good evening, boys. Hope you're well. I've um, we got something to share. Don't know. If you haven't mentioned anything about it on the podcast, but I feel like. People who listen to this podcast might be the only ones who understand it. But um, so I just brought my bins in from out the front. And I don't know if it's just because it's my council or if it's around other councils of Melbourne, but my garbage bin is a lot smaller than the recycling in the green waste bin. So I find when I'm bringing a garbage bin in either a recycling or a green waste bin back with me, I um, it hurts the back, it hurts the body to get down and fucking bring the garbage bin in normally. So I'll wheel the recycling bin in one hand and in the other hand, I'll just carry the fucking garbage bin. And it's like, it's empty. It's pretty light. I'm not trying to say I'm a fucking weapon or anything, but I'm just saying it fucking hurts to try and get down that low to fucking wheel the tiny bin in. Anyone else relate or am I just fucking weird? <laughs> not weird. I relate. I do the same thing. Really? Yeah. I've got a gigantic red bin for yeah. green stuff, yeah. which never gets anything in there. A huge recycle and a piss ant normal bin. You just pick I'd it up. I pick it up in the left hand. <laughs> bit of bicep, bit of delt. Wow. Might ruck again. Yeah. That's a good manoeuvre. <laughs> I love that guy. What was his name? Uh, Anson? Ezra. 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 Nice, Ezra nice Let's get Ezra some budgies with our faces yeah. on them we, when they're done. Yeah. Send we them out. We Maybe a Don t shirt. Haven't got time to bend down and pick up the bins. Like, do you do that? Them. I've got a big one. So you just roll a big it. one. Yeah. Is that because you have got a big one? <laughs> We shot a big one. Uh, that's awesome. Why did, you, did you have to apply for a big one? No idea. Just came with the house. Just born with it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we shot. Um, Come yeah, on, Dad. There's a, Give me a big one. S- someone's got 
uh, a gauze and a drapes tea and they're demanding a butts tea to complete the set. Well, we spoke about that. So there's a butts tea butts coming. Butts tea in the works. I can't wait. To little Hutchie that. is working on the design. Apparently it's going to have a little bit of Port Magpies. Yeah. Must, obviously, I don't realise, but I must talk about my 17 games of the Port Magpies a bit. Really? Did you play for Magpies? I did, yeah, 17 games. Oh. 17 league games. A uh, little bit of um, auto cue debacle good, goes good. well. You know, where we're that. leaning for the paper, paper shuffling. shuffling. Yep. Apologies for this, maybe play the day. Yep. And there's been some demand for Dusty at the Boom Gate. Okay, um, and that you know probably sums up me. Yep, and that's okay. But I'm quite excited about that. I might roll around in them. Um, we've been invited to Cooper's twentieth birthday at the ESPY. Lock it in, Coops. Yep, <laughs> so love that. I'm due. Get there. I found some good form at the snow on the old um, source. Um, someone's actually came for you here. Oh, Caden. Uh, <laughs> about in response to you getting no actions at the scan, said Butts looks like a middle aged dad who can't park a trailer who wears skinny jeans. He's probably nailed it there. <laughs> Good on you, Cater. That's <laughs> pretty pretty nasty from Caden. Very nasty. So, so someone sent some footage in of last week against North. I got hit in the nuts again last week, by the way. And uh, I have my hand two, two times in a row. Yeah, and I was grabbing my grabbing my snag. So You've someone got a really big ball bag or something. Yes. Um, <laughs> someone said, uh, "Was this in game edging?" Fantastic. <laughs> no, just, no. I was just checking if they were still there. Uh, Fantastic. People are furious about the delay in my the vlog vlog. Yeah, so I'm furious. I am too. I offered my services to voice it. Yep. I, I know. You, you thought I was a bit corporate. Yep. It's game day, and I'm heading to the beach, me and Guelph. I'm pretty pumped, but I'm also relaxed. Is that, that good? Yeah, that's yeah, great. Yeah, I'm it's... really working on my, my yeah. pipes. I think there's dollars for me out I there. I think so. Thanks, man. But So yeah. you need to voice it. Well, no, I had it ready, but Handsome Das was, uh, didn't get it done. I'm, right. I'm, I had it all ready, and I was like, yeah, he'll do it today. And then later that night, my uh, good mate Josh Begley sent me a photo, and Dars is having beers. Big beer, Begs. The fridge. Having, yeah, the fridge is having beers with Dars instead of, instead of cutting my vlog. Right. So tell the <laughs> listeners, when will it be ready? Darcy. Well, well there's talks of- um, A new one. A new one. Yeah. Because my I love the vlog, Drapes, but we, we want more Drapes in it. Okay. Yeah, right. There was enough- Martin, good to see Martin make an yeah, appearance. Yeah, Too much Guelph, um, maybe. Maybe we just put up a couple of the Martin clips um, and do a bit of a retake for right. this week. It's, like, it's cutting room floor. Yeah, maybe we'll, we'll do that's a retake right. then. Okay. Well, yeah. that's all right. So Without the voiceover great of feedback. butts. Just on that, now maybe without the voiceover. So I can we can reveal this now because it's not going to happen, but this very nearly happened. So uh, little Suit Baldy and myself and little Hachi Big mm-hmm. Iguana, were, we had a – Offer from KO to go and call Drapes TV. Really? For Fox. Wow. Full Kath Lochnan was going to throw to us. We were going to do uh, Drapes t shirts with blue blazers and badges, and we were pretty much going to focus on you. I was going to call the game straight. <laughs> yeah. It's a very good caller. Um, but the, there was going to be pretty much a ridiculous focus on you. We we're okay. going to speak to you pre game, have a Drapes multi that was pretty much our halftime show was how you're going in your multi, <laughs> and then a post game Drapes. Yeah, they've just said logistically it's a bit tough to get it done this week, but okay. I think we're doing it next year. Okay, so wow. listeners, if you want a weekly Drapes call, or maybe we'll do a deal live golf style and just do 10, yeah, get paid really well. Uh, the 10 big games. Uh, but this is happening. So we're gonna, I think we're going to have a mic on you. So when you get hit in the chats, crackers like Drapes TV will have the exclusive audio. Oh, wow. But I'm not bullshitting. This almost got up this week. Yeah. So, guys, okay, next. hit us up on the DMs if you're excited about that or even tell us if you think it's shit house. That could be pretty funny. I reckon. Yeah, it's I reckon the way it's we'll going. Lock, lock it in next year. That'd be nice. Yeah. So that was that was big. <laughs> good feedback. Yeah, very good. In yeah. Good form. Yeah. Right. Should we go into Drapes' diary we kind of covered? Okay, unless something weird happened on the road. Any movies? Um, any breakfast nah, stories? It was more the swollen ball was, yeah, was taking up a bit of time. Did you have to ice them? Uh, no, went in the ice baths though, but um, yeah, got the boys to check it in the showers, so it's all good. Shower time. <laughs> um, but no, nah, nothing nothing too much. I've uh, recently just moved into my new house. Yeah, so right. That's How's been that a, going? Oh, Very exciting. Shit show. Moving house sucks. Don't want to do it too much. Oh my God. I'm never moving again. That no. Have horrible. you got a big enough house now for a couple of little Draper Bambinos? <laughs> it's a three better, so. Well, yeah, you, so you kick Guelph out. Yeah. No, I'll go you might have stay. twins or something. Yeah. Um, so you're good. You're good for 10 years. I'm good. good for five years. Yeah. 
got getting a new shower head put in today. Yeah, uh, like a big elephant shower. Yeah, obviously yeah, the big elephant. the normal shower head doesn't fit the big boy, <laughs> so we've got a nice tall one put in. Do today. you like the um, the the pull off shower head? That, that you can got, scrub yourself. It's got that down attachment below. as well. So yeah, it's a big one that. from the ceiling, uh, not the ceiling, but a high one with them with the other attachment. Yeah, so. really go to town on yourself with it. <laughs> It's important. What the, that's wrong important. with you? I'm sorry. Uh, right. Yep. Well, that's good. Yeah. Moving house. <laughs> so, okay. Yeah, the house is a shit tip at the moment. There's just stuff everywhere. So good times. Good on yeah. you. Um, <laughs> we've been waffling a bit, so we'll just ramp it up. Get me some no dos or something. Uh, old balls, young balls. Mm. Okay. By popular demand, this segment is staying in the rundown. Mm -hmm. I want to talk about your ideal weekend day off. So for okay. me, it's Sunday. You've got to play Sunday a bit. Mm -hmm. You're actually not getting many of them at the moment. No. Because Saturday, you're in pre-game mode. Yeah. But talk to me about in three weeks' time when you get a few off. How does your ideal Sunday look? Um, yeah, that's a good one. I like my ideal Sunday. It's it's in summer. so mm -hmm. day, Spring, summer? No, nah, we'll go summer. Yeah, I'm okay. going summer. Yep. Uh, day at the beach with the with the lovely. Um, and then head off into into the ESPY in the afternoon. Yeah, right. Yeah. What be about pretty... brekkie? Coffee? Um, paper? Yeah, we could chuck it in if you want, but I'll just just get down the beach, get some, uh, get the tan going, just and just Port Melbourne, or nah, Albert Kilda. Park, St Kilda. I'm a St Kilda. St Kilda. I'm a St Kilda local. Yeah, um, right. And then Katani yeah, Garden sort of area. Around yeah, there. around around there, and yeah, that's probably about it. Just chill, just chill. Keep the heart rate down. Yeah. How many coffees on a Sunday? <laughs> one, you three man. No, one. one that's why you're so chill. Two, two max. That's why I'm you? always so ramped up. <laughs> You oh, I'm five caffeine. at the moment. Five. Five. But. Too much. That's too much. That's why I'm a bit off. No wonder you're fucked all the time. Yeah. <laughs> I've got a little one. He's up at six, you know, wanting to watch. Five coffees. I reckon. Oh, my I'm God. two before 7.30. Oh, my God. Too many. I think that is too many. I'm a bit off. <laughs> I need more green tea. <laughs> you're but talking yeah. about getting no-dos as well. Like you're no no-dos. I was only caffeine. joking. I'm having too much caffeine. Wow. Um, but mine is really old balls. Like like that Caden said, middle aged tight jeans. My mm -hmm. perfect Sunday at the moment. Definitely two or three coffees before eleven. I mm -hmm. like to feel buzzed. Yep. I like to feel alive. Grab a paper if I can. Uh lunch. I don't think I have a big lunch. You know, happy with potentially a cafe. Mm -hmm. Lunch at a cafe. Then I like to sneak in a couple of beers. And a few bets at shut in. Mm -hmm. I love Hong Kong racing. Okay, not big bets. I, I think when I was courting my wife one day, I took her to, the, to a surf club in Queensland, and we had a few three, four dollar bets on shut in races, mm -hmm. honkers. Yeah. So I just love, even if it's small money, having a bit of a play. Okay. On the Sunday Arvo, and yeah. then I like Chinese. Wow, I like Chinese. I've got a what great Chinese takeaway. Lemon chicken. Yeah. Yeah, wow. well, yeah, eating probably with a kid, it's a bit easier to take away and a yeah. glass of red. And that's me. Not bad. And a law and order. That is, <laughs> dun, if there's dun. a Sunday in heaven, <laughs> yeah. that's me. And it just finishes with the Chinese. Okay. Uh, well. Weird or okay? No, it's nice. It's, uh, it's wholesome, yeah. Wholesome. Family. Yeah. yeah. A couple of bets. A bit of adrenaline. Bets, yeah. Bit of caffeine. <laughs> Plenty of caffeine. <laughs> bit, of bit, of, bit of MSG. <laughs> bit of MSG. <laughs> and a nice to glass of red to finish. Yeah. So, and I then, mean, throw those on the DMs too. Yeah. Your ideal Sunday. Yeah. Okay, good. I think that's going to stay in the rundown. Um, I got one for old ball, old yes. balls, young balls. Um, we talking <laughs> during the week when you sent a video into the WhatsApp. You were on the uh, taking a video and you were landscape over portrait way. Well, yeah. See, on this, we always got taught in TV news like if you had some vision, it had to be landscape. Yeah. But Instagram yeah. has changed all that. I know, so I, I was continually just, stuff it up. I was just picturing you like classic old person, like with the side <laughs> like on, like your dad. Yeah. And I had another question: yes. What when you use your phone? Do you use your thumbs or do you use your index finger? Um, <laughs> I don't know. Hang on. Are you a bit of both? Code. I'm um, thumb and finger, and then to record. Let me just record myself. Yeah, left yeah, thumb. Your thumb. Okay. Ambidextrous. Good. All right. Left, because I'm so. a right-hander, but I tap left. <laughs> I get higher. No, I was just checking because if you were really old balls, you'd be index finger, nah, you'd be tapping. Come on, mate. Okay, good. Yeah, I'm, I'm glad. I'm not even 40. Yeah, that's good. Gonna play footy next year. Yeah, because uh, the classic old balls is with the index finger and it's all over the joint. So. No, no, no. Good yeah. from you. I love this. <laughs> all right, just checking. You're I'm still using to grow old. Yeah, you're still like some, some young balls in there somewhere. Right, spirit animal. <laughs> The 
Spirit Animal, brought to us by Impact Dharma. Great sponsor, Impact mm-hmm. Dharma. I think we're doing good things for them, by the way. I'm seeing a lot of ruckmen and ruck women rocking the Spirit Armors. Mm-hmm. So they're a great sponsor. Thank you. Uh, Darcy Fogarty's mine. Do you yep. know Darcy? Have you played against Darcy Fogarty? Crows uh, Darcy Fogarty. I know of him because he's from, from Adelaide. He is. Lucendale. Got the same manager. Um, yeah, he's a bit of a weapon at the moment. He's a weapon. Yeah. He's playing career best, <laughs> kicking threes and fours. Yeah. Don't argues. I'll yeah. tell you what I love about him. I think he's given this away in the last few weeks, but in his first couple of years, he was a no mouth guard operator yeah. and would chew gum on the field. Really? He looked like a Western cowboy. <laughs> chewing gum. Chewing gum like they chew tobacco. Wow. He's chewing gum, strutting around. I'd definitely choke on it if I did oh, that. Oh, no. Yeah. I think he's got a mouth guard now. <laughs> yeah. Because he's starting to go, all right, yeah. keep your fangs. <laughs> um, but he, gee, he plays with presence. Yeah. He's, a, he's not. He's not 200, but he plays like it. Yeah. Knocks guys over, always in the uh, little scuffles. Yeah. And I did hear, I know the Crows recruiter, Hamish Ogilvy. I might have to ring him to um, verify this. It could be bullshit. But I had heard that when they went to recruit him, he's off a farm down Lucendale Way. Mm. They walked into his kitchen and there was just animals everywhere. <laughs> Kangaroos in the kitchen, horses in the kitchen. <laughs> like it was a, di- a menagerie. How big is a kitchen? A big kitchen. <laughs> So it was like an open house for animals. Yeah. So this guy's right off. Yeah, wow. I love him. So Didn't he's my that. spirit animal. Fair enough. Yeah. No, he's unbelievable kick as well. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. Yeah. Mate, he's a good player. Yeah. There were knocks on his – that he wasn't that quick off the mark. Well, yeah. if you can play. I mean, was Sam Mitchell quick off the mark? No. Nah, so, yeah. gun. That's nice. Yeah. And you've got another one. Well, do you have one before I no, get to my other no, one? No, that, that was nice. Well, you... we'll share this one. Yeah. Okay, so there was lots of good stories over the weekend in footy. There always is. But this guy – we got alerted to via the DMs of an old balls operator, older than me, mm-hmm. still rucking, mm-hmm. still coaching down Colac Way, plays for the Western Eagles. And apparently he managed to take a mark and smash a point post over <laughs> in one action. So wow. we have to get him on. So yeah. his name is Craig Hardingham. Yeah. We're going to give him a bell now. Morning, Craig speaking. Hey, Craig Hardingham, uh, Nick Butler and Sam Draper from the 200 Plus Podcast. G'day, boys. How are we? Mate, we're very good and we're very excited about your story. Talk us through what uh, went on uh, against Birry down there on the weekend when not only you're rucking and dominating, you've decided to knock over a point post. Uh, I wouldn't say I'm dominating, boys. Um, <laughs> yeah, no, just come out of retirement. Uh, I actually coached the side and just come out of retirement to fill in some numbers and thought I'd just, you know, 200 centimetre blokes don't get any shorter, so I thought I'd just sit in a square and uh, I sort of, uh, uh, the bloke kicked it in from about 55 out down to the square and sort of drifted towards the point post and uh, had my opponent sort of on my right-hand side and sort of held him off and took a nice little one-handed chest mark and at the same time just uh, cleaned up the post, mate, so... (laughs) Love it. The post is broken. Matthews hit it. Oh, talk about a he-man. You are the he-man. <laughs> uh, yeah, no, it was uh, quite a – it was right in front of our resis had their resis day, so they had the tent there and it was right in that pocket, so they went berserk and then all the car horns started going off. And At first I thought, oh, it wasn't that, wasn't that good a mark, but then I sort of turned around and noticed the post was just uh, laying flat on the ground, so – yeah, uh, snapped it right at the base. That's brilliant. Unbelievable. Was it rotten or did you just hit it flush? I mean, was the post? Uh, yeah, come on. It's a, it's a metal post, so um, I don't know how long it's been there for. They're, they're quite old, our posts. So we did. I've been telling the club we needed some new ones, so I just uh, thought I'd take it into my own hands, I suppose. But um, no, I think that what they're saying is it sort of broke where, where they welded it to the bottom, uh, to the base plate sort of thing, so... Yeah, we've got a nice photo here of uh, you after the game with the boys in the in the rooms. Uh, you got a bit of ice on the leg. Were you wearing a shin guard at the time? Always wear a shin guard, mate. Good, good. Talk us through it. What do you got? It's, I think it's one of – I'm old school, mate, so I'm, I'm 43 now, but I've probably worn a shin guard since I was about 20. I think it was an old sort of uh, – might have been a hockey shin guard sort of thing. Wow. So. yeah. Nice. Yeah, so a bit, bit of weight to it, and bit of bit of uh, yeah, bit of protection. Always a uh, bit of weight to it too. If you collect the other ruck ones, <laughs> Ooh, so it was yes. all, always handy. Very nice. Twenty years. That's brilliant. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's seen better days, but uh, hard, hard to find a replacement. And how and how are you moving around the ground at forty three? Gee, it's a wonderful effort. You've got a couple of years um, on me, and I'm, I haven't got the guts to get get out there at the moment. Talk to us about. 
how it happened and, and how long you're going to do it for? Uh, well, I actually retired at the end of last year and sort of coaching and um, we've sort of got our under-18s. Under uh, they're sitting second on the ladder and we're trying to just probably add three or four 18s in our senior side most weeks, sort of promoting the kids. So we just sort of drop them back to sort of get that connection at under-18 level and uh, I'm sort of, well, I'm the coach, so I get to pick myself. So I just pick myself and <laughs> sit up in the square, mate. So, uh, yeah, no, I was, I'm actually uh, a bit sore after the weekend, so I think that might be a good way to go out, just breaking a post in the last game and call it, call it a day. <laughs> Pretty hard to beat. Are you any chance to play finals? Uh, no, mate, we're on the bottom of the ladder, buddy. So <laughs> well, it's been a, been a long year. <laughs> no, that's all right. Well, it's fantastic that you're getting involved, and you are certainly, it's certainly spirit animal behaviours, and, and we love to just celebrate a bit of courage and resilience and and entertainment, and we like that from our big men. So thank you so much. Did I read that you're half a chance to take the post to Mad Monday? Because that is fantastic uh, if you are. Yeah, well, I challenged a couple of blokes uh, at training Tuesday night. If they, if they both missed the goal, though, I was going to get – we actually – the punishment if they both missed the goal was everyone had to carry the post around the ground for, for about five laps. So uh, we did that Tuesday, so I was pretty pretty good doing that. And, uh, <laughs> yeah, I think it will definitely make an appearance Mad Monday. Lovely. Oh, mate, thank you so much for joining us. It's a ripping story, and I reckon it's only going to get better every year. Your mark, the post, how well you played, and uh, you're everything our sort of podcast 200-plus stands for. So thank you so much for joining us, Craig, and we'll send you out a couple of prizes. No worries, boys, and uh, well done on the podcast. It's a ripper. It's a lot better than uh, the, the Rish and Rash one. <laughs> so, um, I actually did play with Rish's old man at uh, Winchelsea back in the day when oh. I reckon he would have been a young tacker, but um, yeah, no. Nah, should be should be more stories about Ruckman, mate. So most important player on the ground, I believe. So <laughs> exactly right. <laughs> uh, very well said. I think we might have to get you on again. Now, Craig, have a great day and thanks for joining us. No worries at all, boys. All the best. Thanks, Craig. <laughs> What a legend. <laughs> That's great. And so he's taken a chesty yeah. and bashed down the post. Yeah. And Good then, man. I think we'll get him on. And then talk shit about Rish and Rath as well. At he the did. End. <laughs> he did. He's a fan. Uh, so that was very good. So uh, Craig was brought to us by Impact Armour, and if nothing else, I'm sure we'll send him a shin guard and a couple of other prizes as well. Love a guest. I think we mm. need to do that more. We do. Talk yep. to us on the DMs. Uh, when you're done putting shit on me about my sweat patches, maybe suggest a few guests. Lovely. A good story. Righto, Drapes, the budgie smuggler. Okay, last week it was a bit of a weird one. It was a part of the live show. Because we are up at the snow, we went with hot tub and sauna etiquette. Okay. Okay, I said, suggested that um, if someone is nude in the sauna, you should nude up too. Okay. It's a bit weird if you, someone's in the bathing suit and someone isn't. Yep. Goz was all about uh, no farting or weeing in the in the spa, yep. which I think is fair enough. Dill, Dill's a uh, no bubbles man. It's very strange. Yeah, that's Doesn't like the bubbles on. But do we have a win? Do you have any? No? No, I haven't okay. got any. No. Gloss over that, Ed Langdon. Uh, do we have a winner? Give us a winner. You've got the winner, mate. Do I? <laughs> I haven't got it. Oh, winner, we don't have the winner. It, we got Liam Handsome Matthews. Darcy, who's yeah, a winner? I've got no idea. Uh, Liam Matthews. He Liam. sent in, um, when you get out to have a break and someone's sitting in your seat where you were before, uh, weird as fuck. So That's Liam weird. Matthews is our winner this week. Well done, Liam. Slipping into your <laughs> grave. Yeah, good one. Okay, this week... Okay. Um, uh, speaking of sacks, because you got need in the sack mm-hmm. a couple of weeks in a row. Yep. I want to know when you've been sacked in your life, mm. and how it happened, and why, and how it felt. Because everyone has been sacked from something. Yes. What do you got for me? I, my sacking story is. Yes, my first job uh, was at Faster Pasta. Oh, yeah, Faster yeah. Pasta. Um, Worst job I've had to date. I was uh, literally just scrubbing pans, hot pans in the sink. Good and for resilience. Like, so hard. That was the hardest job I've ever had, I reckon. It was, I'll be sweating like it was smelling of cheese. It was horrible. And then, uh, yeah, I, I had a family holiday. We went on and I told them I went on it. And then they just sort of said, yeah, don't bother coming back. And I was sort of glad. Don't come Monday. Yeah, I was sort of glad because I hated it. And, Were uh, you getting good money? 12 nah, bucks an hour? Yeah, not really. Then, then moved so you were the dish pig. Yeah. And then moved on to uh, fruit and veg and then yeah. on to Toys R Us. How'd you go to Toys R Us? Best job yeah, ever. Right. Yeah, get so sacked? good. Nah, got drafted, so I had to, had to leave. Didn't get sacked, mate. Yeah. Got drafted. <laughs> I said don't come Monday. That's pretty cool. Yeah. I've got a few. I have got a few. So my first sacking, this is actually like quite emotional still to this day because I remember how it felt. So I did a lawn mowing round, and I was only 12, which wasn't a bad effort. I used to get 25 bucks to mow the old duck two doors downs. Mm-hmm. 
and I'll call her an old duck because she sacked me, uh, her, her lawn, mm-hmm. right? And I would do half the lawn and then get lemonade. She'd make me lemonade and then I'd finish the lawn. And it was quite a like, reasonable house, so mm. front and back. And it was on my 12th birthday and I'm halfway through having some lemonade and she goes, oh, by the way, this will be your last one. I've organised Jim's mowing to come next <sighs> fortnight. Thanks, but no thanks. And I'm like, well, I've got half the lawn to do. So I effectively got sacked and had to finish her lawn and I cried the whole time and I was crying into the catcher. Going, <laughs> yeah. So that was awful. <laughs> That's really sad. And apparently I used to leave. I said, my, I think my dad said, knocked on the door and said, why did you sack him? And she goes, oh, he leaves patches. I used to leave a few patches <laughs> around her rocks. Anyway, so I got sacked by that. Um, crying is the theme here. I got left yeah. out of the Vic Metro 16s and I remember I got to emergency. I was in the top 30 mm. and they were taking 28 and they come over. David Dixon comes over and goes, mate, you, you're close, but you're going to be emergency. You're not going on the, I think it was in Sydney, the champs, no. but he go, and I'm like, oh no. Cause I thought I was in, I thought I was doing enough. And he goes, but there might be an injury. So train on tonight, train on. So I'm at the Western Oval. I've just been told I'm out. And I had to play center up forward once again. I cried and I couldn't see the ball. I was going, ah, ah, <laughs> leading and crying at the same time, <laughs> which was fucked. No, that's and really then, sad. That's pretty sad. And then the final one, and this only comes to me because of my pits, and apparently everyone's teasing me about my pits. I had a wait. I was a, a waiter at a function center where you do weddings, starting at seven o'clock on a Saturday night. Yeah. For a period there, I played cricket before. And this game, like the cricket went a bit late and I didn't have time for a shower. Yeah. So I've rolled in. I've gone, oh, fuck, I'll get changed in the car park. I've got this fancy wedding of like yeah. quite a rich family. And I'm, I've am i thrown on my, my suit and my, my whatever, my, my waiter gear. Yeah. And I, I'm like, Jesus, I can smell someone's BO. I think it's me. No. Right? So I haven't had a shower. I've just um, straight to cricket with a bit of man funk. Yeah. It was man funk. I bowled 20 <laughs> overs. And the boss comes up and says – excuse me, if you don't fix that man funk, you're sacked on the spot. So I had to pretend I was going out for Smoko yeah. and I drove down to the shell and got some deodorant and <laughs> sprayed it, just sprayed myself and got through the shift. Yeah, that would have been nice. So man funk. Yeah, and you got sacked for it? or No, nah, like- I got sacked because I spilt some tomato soup on a lady. <gasps> yeah. No. And I, I was so sorry. Like it, it slipped off. It was a bowl on a plate, and I went to give her a tomato soup and went all over. Oh so I ended God. up getting sacked a few weeks later. <laughs> but anyway, that was BO. Yeah. I've so been BO? sacked three times. Sacked three times. Yeah. Oh, there's more than that. Yeah. I'll be getting sacked from a few other things soon. <laughs> um, um, bit of love on the way out. Port Adelaide this week. Yes. You are playing against the Raw Doggers. Yes. Dixon and Finlayson. Yes. Are you going to speak to them? Should we give they- you a, a shin guard to give them? <laughs> Just give them something. It could be a bit they're of shin guard, good, shin guard chat. Yeah. yeah. It'd be a inter- different challenge because they're not the usual type. But yeah, shin guard chat could be, could be going on. Okay, I like that. Two more weeks to give us a celebration as well. <laughs> yeah, Just true. give us something. A little yeah, one. I need to kick a goal. Then we'll, kick yeah. a goal and do it. Yeah. Uh, and I'm going to give you some love. Your season's been really bloody good. And we are pushing hard to get you in the All-Australian 40. All for right. me this year. We think you can make the 40, <laughs> and our fans do too. We're going to bombard Kane Corns with DMs yeah. to get you in. There hasn't been a standout Ruckman. You've been pretty good. <laughs> don't get all shy. Um, you might be in the 40. I, don't I believe so. you can be. I don't reckon I am, but... You'll you take it. Get, if I can take it. If I'll the ring Corns. I've got his number. <laughs> Should we ring it? No. No, no. no okay. No. We won't ring it. Bombard him, <laughs> listeners. DM Kane Corns, we want drapes in the 40. Okay. That's my love. <laughs> You've been good. Goals next week. Yeah, all right. Well, hopefully, yeah, that'll be fun if I get in that, but I don't reckon I will. <laughs> that was 200 plus. Handsome Darcy, cut out the rude bits. <laughs> See you later. <laughs>